G'day guys, how you doing? And uh, it's been a little while since I've been able to shoot some um, astro, but finally I've got a little bit of dark skies. The moon's gonna rise in the next few hours, but uh, that's enabled me to come out tonight because also tomorrow night's meant to be clear as well. So uh, fingers crossed um, that does happen and we can shoot some more deep space. But just over to the right of me, I've got my uh, telescope all set up um, imaging the uh, blue horsehead nebula and the reason I didn't quite show um, me setting that up or anything like that because I've had a, had a little bit of issues um, uh, setting that scope up tonight uh, first was uh, some focusing problems um, and that was just on my behalf because I was rushing a few things secondly was uh, framing um, the blue uh, horsehead nebula uh, I had to actually turn the camera around a little bit more and being on the uh, Celestron Rasa, the camera being on the front, it makes things just a little bit more difficult to, to frame the object. But uh, I think I've got it framed pretty good at the moment, so I'm shooting 30 second exposures of that. And right now I've come across to set up my uh, time lapse. And uh, what I'm gonna be using tonight is my Z7 with my 20 millimeter um, F1.8 S lens. Uh, I'll be shooting at F1.8 ISO 6400. And I'm gonna let the uh, syrup do a bit of a pan for me while I shoot the time-lapse all in camera instead of shooting individual frames and editing and then creating the whole time-lapse. You know, I'm just being a little bit lazy like that, I guess you could say. Um, or I like to try and uh, get all the settings right in camera to get the most amount of detail and everything I can. Um, uh, who knows? <laughs> well. Tonight's a bit of a, a bit of a rushed one, but uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoy it. So I'm going to set up this time lapse, and uh, then report back to you later on how the deep space uh, imaging session's going. So uh, speak to you soon. guys as you can see uh, just behind me the moon's starting to rise and that means the sky is going to get a bit brighter so uh, lucky enough I've been able to capture uh, very close to 300 photographs um, all shot with 30 second exposures for the blue horsehead nebula and, uh, and we'll see how that turns out tomorrow night fingers crossed I got another clear night so if that's the case I might add uh, more data to this image or we might shoot a, ga a galaxy and, uh, and see how that goes uh, but yeah, I think uh, I think I'm gonna pack up and uh, call it a night. If you've enjoyed this video, please uh, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Um, leave a comment if you've got any questions, and if you're new to this channel and you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All right, guys. Well, until next time, take it easy. See you.